Hi everyone! I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make microwave kalung fun or KLF as I like to call it for short. Um, this, All this you see here is what you'll need. Let's start with, okay, you're going to need rice flour and it's the elephant brand, the red bag. You'll need also tapioca starch, the blue bag, also the elephant brand. The all-purpose flour, and I like this brand, the metal, gold metal brand, that's American flour, and limestone. Limestone comes in a little jar like this, and that's what it looks like. It's like a chalky white paste. It's hard, hard like a rock right now. So what you need to do is find a jar or a container and dissolve the limestone paste, because we don't want the paste, we want the juice like this. So you just want to get a jar and just dissolve it, okay? So that's limestone juice. You're going to need water and a microwave safe bowl. Very important. Make sure that's microwave safe, okay? And a whisk, a whisk and a wooden spoon. So I have here already pre-measured my flour, okay? And you're going to need probably about anywhere up to 9 to 10 cups of water, but I have here about 7 cups already pre-measured, 7 cups of water to start out with, okay? So let's begin. Pour all of this in here. And whisk. You don't want it to be clumpy, so make sure you whisk it real good. Make sure that the flour is all dissolved. And you need to add two tablespoons of limestone juice. So looks like this. One and two. And this. Make sure that it's mixed completely. I like to use a spoon, wooden spoon to make sure that I get the bottom, see? We don't want like this, okay? We want to make sure that all the flowers dissolve. Ooh, sorry guys. I'm filming and stirring at the same time. It's kind of hard. <laughs> okay. Looks pretty good. Get the final whisk. In the microwave, it's going to go. And you want to set it for 20 minutes. So, 20 minutes, hit start. And let it cook for about 3 minutes before we would take it out and stir. It's important that you don't let it get hardened. So you want to catch it in time to just stir it so that it doesn't harden up like a rock before it has a chance to um, Okay, so it's been in there for about three minutes. I'm gonna bring it out now and stop it. Now notice I'm only stopping the, the clock. I'm not clearing it so bring this out and let's give it a quick whisk to make sure that it doesn't get clumpy. It's important that every three minutes or so you bring it out and just give it a good quick whisk. Stir it up. Like that. Then we're going to put it back in the microwave again. And continue to cook. Okay, so that's the process. Okay, it's been in there for a couple minutes now. Um, 
I already took it out once to stir. I'm going to take it out again, so I'm, again, I'm going to stop it. Bring it out. And be careful, it could be hot. And give it a stir. Look, it's starting to thicken already. And that's why you want to take it out and kind of just whisk. Oh, it's really hard to do with one hand. There. So, it's like 15 minutes, I mean, yeah, like almost 5 minutes into cooking, and this is how it looks. It's thick already. So, how, remember how we started out with just only 5 cups of water? Well, now I'm going to add 2 more cups of water to it. So, 1, 2, and you want to whisk this really good. Get it to be as smooth as possible. See, it should look like this with the consistency. Okay, and let's put it back in the microwave. Continue cooking. Stop it again. I'm gonna stop it again and take it out and whisk it. It's kind of thick now. And the importance of this is so that it won't get all clumpy. Whisk it real good. the microwave again. Okay, while well, that's cooking away, I want to tell you about the, what you can use to make different types of KLF. Um, this is a nice size to make like the droplets like the teardrop column food. This is one of the, um, I, find, I, I found this at the Asian store. I don't know, you know, if you can find one, but if you find one like this, it's pretty good. Oops. This is also another one. You probably seen strainers like this in most Asian stores. This is also good to make the droplets too. Or the, to make them bond, you know, that size. And, of course, this glass bowl or any type of contain bowl, if you want to make the cube ones. And yeah. another type of culling food or style is using a potato ricer like this. Um, this one is to make like the noodle, the noodle version, the noodle style. Okay. So there are many, there are many ways to make the kale out. The cube one the droplets and the noodle style. Okay, we got another 10 more minutes or so before it's done. 
you'll know when the kung fu is cooked when the the flour starts to bubble up. Okay, so we've got about seven minutes left. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to bubble up. I mean, it's starting to uh, cook. It's starting to thicken. And when it gets like that, you want to make sure you want to stop the microwave so that it does overflow. You see, it's almost going to overflow to the brim. So what you want to do is always try to catch it so it doesn't the bowl doesn't overflow through the bowl. And like give it a stir. I like to alternate between using the the whisk and the wooden spoon. Whichever you feel is more comfortable or does a better job, that's up to you. It's almost done. Put it back. Ooh, it's really the bowl is really hot now. So you must be really careful not to burn yourself. Let it continue to cook until it's done. But make sure, like I said, to keep an eye on it with like the last 10 minutes or 7 minutes of, of it being done, it will start to flow and if you don't catch it, it's going to be a big old mess in the microwave. So you just want to keep an eye on it right now until the end. Okay, see it's overflowing again bubbling up and I have like six minutes left but I don't think I need to cook it the full 20 minutes of it because it's almost done stir it again Okay, I think I'm just going to put it back one more time. Oh, it's hot. And keep an eye on it this time. Okay, so it's starting to bubble up again, and I still have four minutes left, but I think I'm going to say this is the last time that I need to cook it. I'm not going it's done. Sorry, guys, this video might look different compared to the last one. It's because my other camera ran out of juice, so this is from a different camera, but it's done. Give it a good last whisk, and I'm gonna make this into the cube version, the cube KLF. So I have here is a nice glad, glass uh, Pyrex bowl. Actually, it's a Pyrex bowl, and this would be perfect for making cube kalamfun. So take this and be careful; it's very hot now. Pour it into here. And there you have it guys. This is Kalung Foon KLF. Um, you just need to let this set um, 
overnight or at least four or six hours until it hardens. So that's it. That's how you make microwave column food. I hope you give it a try and let me know how it goes. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I will try to answer them the best I can. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Just want to show you the other version of KLF and this is the droplet, the teardrop version. So uh, underneath here, cold water, you see? Cold, cold water. You just press. This you can make nam van or the sweet dessert with this, like the tapioca sweet dessert with, with coconut milk and sugar water. And this, like this, when you do it like this, you can eat it right away. Um, you can eat kung fu this way with the hot sauce and stuff. And you don't have to wait till till this one hardens up. That one you have to wait, of course. And this one you can eat it right away. Yeah, my KLF. Thanks guys. Okay, so while I'm waiting for this to harden up, I can eat the droplets, the one that I also made of some. Does that look good? Yum yum. <laughs> You'll need to complete this dish, um, kale of sauce that's like a fermented bean paste sauce salt and MSG and a tomato broth. Tomato, it just consists of cherry tomatoes that I boil down to. Let it boil so I get softened like this and I just added some tamarind seasoning for added extra tartness. So it's a tomato broth with tamarind seasoning. And there we go folks. This is my KLF droplets. Thanks for watching. Try it and please let me know.